The Kaiser Family Foundation suggests that consumer assistance would be helpful to individuals with medical debt. This conclusion came after reviewing the results of the healthcare debt survey. It was talking about a lot of billing errors for people with or without medical debt. And the survey was released earlier this year in June of 2022, and it was designed to provide a broad measure of healthcare debt in the United States. Also, the effects of that debt on individuals and some of the financial and personal sacrifices people were making because of medical debt. Let's look at some of the statistics surrounding some of those billing errors that they talked about. They said 43% of adults say they have received a medical or dental bill they thought contained an error. If that adult had medical debt, that percentage went up to 53%. 79% of adults with healthcare debt who were billed with errors said they took some action to dispute that error, but 51% of adults with healthcare debt who received an erroneous bill said they could not challenge the mistake or didn't even try in the first place. Now, 32% of adults with healthcare debt who received a bill they thought had an error on it said that bill was sent to collections. Then that just has impacts for everything from credit score, trying to get a loan or accessing other forms of financing or credit in the future. We know from our own own research, and we link to some of these resources in the description below, that 99% of defendants in medical debt lawsuits being sued in collections did not have an attorney or any representation. And that's where this Kaiser Family Foundation's recommendation comes into play. They say consumer assistance in some of these would be very helpful for at least challenging or reviewing those bills to see if there are unnecessary errors. And consumers want the help. 71% of adults with medical debt said they think some sort of state consumer assistance program would be helpful to them. Among black, Hispanic, and low-income adults with healthcare debt, that number goes up even higher. In recent years, Congress has taken other steps, including some changes in the No Surprises Act, to strengthen health insurance protection and limit patients' exposure to out-of-pocket medical bills. But there remains a need for consumer and provider education about the new law and even more efforts to level the playing field for consumers. You can read more from the Kaiser Family Foundation. We link to the report in the description below.